What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, a good morning to some out there. It's the Earthmaster on this beautiful Sunday, uh, June 12, 2022 date, uh, about 11.36 a.m. California time, 2.8 earthquake coming into the California region. That is the latest earthquake on the globe there. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity around the map and seeing that uh, 2.8 coming into the region of southern california looks like right smack dab on the san andreas fault zone right there the plate boundary between the pacific and the north american plate here we did see a little bit of activity uh, looks like overnight as well up and down the fault system just some small microquakes this here this 2.8 is the largest in this little cluster of earthquakes there along the san andreas fault uh, further up north a little bit of movement as well north of san francisco seeing a uh little earthquake right smack dab on the uh section of the san andreas fault here 1.3 also a little spotty activity throughout northern california uh, eastern crest of the sierra nevada not a whole lot going on we do have one earthquake here around big pine a 1.1 but uh, things kind of mellowing out along the sierra nevada zone uh, we are seeing a little bit of activity stretching off of the southern segment of the uh, San Jacinto fault zone kind of spreading over towards the salt and sea area again uh, Gonna watch that pretty closely because of course the closer we go over here uh, To the east we kind of run into the southern segment of the San Andreas fault So a couple small microquakes in that area uh, overnight uh, Looking up into the uh, Idaho and Montana Wyoming region just a couple spotty earthquakes uh, nothing, <clears throat> nothing showing up yet here on the USGS map in terms of the swarm activity that's kicking up let me go ahead and pop up the latest yellowstone um, seismograph stations here showing the continued swarm of earthquake activity and uh, it's definitely been ongoing here for a couple days now looks like uh, this morning and overnight things kind of ramped up once again getting into the uh, uh, the two magnitude range here and uh, so of course some other smaller ones uh, in the mix but man it's there's a pretty good handful of quakes there uh, probably a good 30 or 40 and that was uh, on this map uh, if we look at yesterday's timestamp we had about the same look at that uh, right around the Maple Creek Holmes Hill area here was yesterday's activity and you can see uh, it's been ongoing for quite a while um, you know at least two days now so I'm, I'm curious to see what their numbers are going to be like once they uh, tally up the correct amount uh, I'd say there's definitely probably uh, more than 100, maybe 150 earthquakes or so that has kicked up here around the uh, northwestern portion of Yellowstone National Park. That includes uh, today's events in there as well. So you got to remember when you look at these seismograph station maps, uh, every single one of these spikes here, even these little ones uh, where the finger is pointing, are indeed microquakes. So uh, not as big as these, obviously. These are probably twos. Uh, the reason I can tell is because they're showing up across the uh, a broad area of the park. So uh, we'll see what the USGS puts out tomorrow on this. But either way, activity still ongoing there at Yellowstone National Park uh, with, uh, with the uh, swarming that's going on. Not a whole lot going on through the Southern Plains or the Great Plains area. Uh, we did have that one earthquake out here in, in the Rhode Island area, 1.6. But since then, uh, since yesterday's quake there, we haven't seen anything pop up. Uh, we have noticed a uh, pretty good increase though in earthquake activity around the Panama Ecuador area along this uh, This little plate boundary here seeing quite a bit of movement kick up here overnight including a couple fours uh, Puerto Rico area has been swarming like crazy if you haven't noticed on the earthquake 3d globe uh, the stacked events that are ongoing here around the southwestern portion of Puerto Rico and uh, Things just kind of picking up there as well around the Caribbean plate uh, South America, as I mentioned up here in Ecuador, uh, further south along the Peru-Chile Trench, only a handful of quakes. Um, one of them reached above the 4.0 threshold with this one here in Argentina, down there at 208 kilometers into the Peru-Chile Trench. There's the, uh, the uh, South Sandwich Islands earthquake that we were looking for uh, following the activity there around the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Um, a lot of times when we get this earthquake activity here, and specifically, uh, it seems like in this area, uh, from from about the mid down to the south we start watching the uh, activity really ramp up here around the South Sandwich Islands and we did see a 5.0 finally hit that uh, following the activity there 
in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, let's see, Hawaii, not a whole lot going on out here on the Big Island. Nine earthquakes for a total tally over the last 24 hours. That's not a big deal. Nothing major going on. Uh, no other movement to report there on the Big Island. Uh, Alaska, typical day up there in Alaska. And uh, one earthquake over here around Japan. This one coming in yesterday, though. Um, looks like a 5.1. We haven't seen any further movement, though, following that uh, activity yesterday. And still watching the New Zealand area specifically for uh, some larger scale movement. I think, uh, I think we're kind of on pause for that until that happens. Uh, Papua New Guinea and the Indonesia area did see a couple fours kick up here. Uh, we did see a 5.0 right here around the Java Trench, 111 kilometers for the uh, 5.0 in that region. And a couple spotty earthquakes here around Afghanistan northward. Uh, let's see what else we got. Trimmer map last night was not a big deal. I think we only had six epicenters of Trimmer. Look at that, into Northern California. Things kind of at a standstill at the moment there as well. And activity at Mount St. Helens was kind of dying down as uh, far as the seismic swarm that's been going on there for uh, the past few weeks or so. The microquake swarm, I should say. Um, things are just kind of, let's double check and see what they're looking like today. Always like to check it. Uh, yeah, just a couple couple little spotty earthquakes there on the map uh, maybe four or five including these little bitty ones here but other than that things just kind of uh, mellowing out there at the um, volcano in Washington not a whole lot going on through the earthquakes Canada map nothing being listed anyway uh, at least far as recent activity goes and here in the EMSC model looks like we got a 4.8 coming in here I don't believe the USGS is showing that on the map uh, it is just coming in within the last hour. USGS not showing it. Kind of looks like it's around the, uh, oh, let's see exactly where it's at. Let me zoom in here. I don't even know if they have it listed on this little map. Uh, 4.8. I can't get it to pop up there for some reason. Not for sure what's going on. But uh, they'll get to it, right? Looks like maybe Eastern Turkey area. Is that right? Yeah, seven minutes ago. That's been upgraded, though, uh, to a 5.0. So a little activity there uh, today. Let's see what else we got. Space weather. Just going to make this a real quick update, folks. Got some stuff going on. Maybe some storm chasing events going on today. Uh, got some thunderstorms rolling into Northern California with some cooler weather. A lot better than 100 degree temperatures. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Uh, solar, yep, solar weather. Let's double check this here real quick and see. Kind of curious to see what the sunspot's gonna look like, folks, as it rotates into view. Uh, that's gonna be sunspot 3030 with some further development around the bend here. Um, looks like this whole broad area is starting to uh, form once again. I believe this is one of our older large sunspots coming around the bin uh, for a second time uh, or maybe even a third time but uh, it's definitely amping up pretty good around 30 30 and uh, possibilities of flaring should be going up here really soon uh, in the coming days also a little coronal hole dead facing us right now uh, directly bullseye shot uh, from some high wind um, that will be coming out of the coronal hole uh, and facing or not facing us but headed towards us this will be amplified here in the coming nights i believe as things kick up in that um department but uh other than that we'll wait wait for this stuff to happen which uh hey, at least it's starting to form again i did not like to see the uh the sun spotless it was not cool i'm not a big fan of boring events <laughs> <laughs> that includes weather. I don't like sunshine. It's nice once in a while and it's nice for gardening, but man, I'd rather have active weather much more uh, than I would want uh, sunny weather, let me tell you. So nothing showing up on the, U on the University of Utah seismograph stations either in terms of Yellowstone, but uh, I'm sure they'll get to it tomorrow morning. Like I say, mark my words, it's probably up there in the couple hundred range in terms of the earthquake activity that we've been seeing here over the past couple days so and a couple twos in there included 
Uh, I'm sure at least a, a good handful of twos, lower grade 2.0s. All right, guys, we'll chat you a little bit later on tonight uh, with the updates. Till then, take care, stay safe, and we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.